We're looking at now is the second of the numerical methods. All right, and what we're going to try and do, we're going to try and find an answer to the question x squared minus 2x minus 2 equals 0. Okay, and in order to do that, we're going to use this Newton Raphson method. So to do that, we need to write some things down first. The first thing we have to write down. is that the f of x is x squared minus 2x minus 2. So you just write down the whole equation as f of x. Just write it down. Okay? The next thing you have to do is to find f dashed of x, and we've been practicing that. So we're going to differentiate this. So we're going to end up with 2x minus 2. Okay? And if you're not sure how to do that, watch the video on differentiation. Okay? But that's pretty much how simple it's going to be. Now what you need to do is to create your table. Now we've done this before. I'm going to do it again. So here we go. So I'm going to write down x0. And I'm going to tell you I want you to start with 3. You will be given your start number. Okay? So x0 is going to be 3. The first thing we now write down is f of x. Then we're going to write down f dashed of x. And then we're going to write down x1 equals x0 minus f of x over f dashed of x. And you're going to write that down. Now this formula here you're given. So you don't have to remember this formula. It'll be written down for you. Okay? But they won't give you this bit and this bit. You'll have to know that bit. Alright? Now, in the case where this gets very, very complicated, they'll give you the f dashed bit as well. So it'll either be very simple like this one, or it will be given for you. And this is the procedure you do. Okay, so taking your calculator. Alright, and I've borrowed somebody's calculator here. The first thing I'm going to do is say, right, I'm starting with my number 3. So I'm going to type in 3 forwards arrow x. I'm going to use the x down here. And it gives me a number 3, which means I've just told my calculator that the letter x is 3. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in x squared. Can I just check I'm on the screen? Yeah, let's calculate on the screen. So x squared minus 2x <coughs> minus 2. And just press equals. Okay. Because I've already told the calculator that x is 3, all I've got to do is type in x squared minus 2x minus 2, and it tells me the answer is 1. Okay, so that's what I'm going to write in here. Because I put the number 3 into this one, this is the f of x one, I just chucked in my x number and I got the answer 1. Now, I'm going to do exactly the same for this one. x hasn't changed, x is still 3. Okay, so I'm just going to type in 2x minus 2. And I get 4. So I'll write down 4 there. So I started with my x value 3. I put it into my calculator as x. I chucked it into the fx one. Got an answer of 1. I wrote it down. Chucked it into f dashed of x. Got an answer of 4. Wrote it down. Now watch how this works. x naught is 3, isn't it? 3 take away f dashed is 1 over f dashed. So fx is 1, f dashed is 4. 3 take away 1 quarter is 2.75. You can do it on your calculator. That is now this number here. And I have now completed one cycle of Newton Rapson. The 3 I gave to you to start with. The start number you'll be given. Okay. If you have a question, you can ask a question. It's okay. No. So the next bit then I'm going to now say is, ah, it's not 3 anymore. It's now 2.75. So what I'm going to do on my calculator is I'm going to put 2.75 into, oops, not that one, into x. Like that. And it now tells me 2.75. And now I'm going to do exactly the same again just using 2.75. 
So, into fx, I've got x squared minus 2x minus 2. Oops. Oh, there we go. And that's given me 0 0.0625. That's what that number's become. This number is putting it into this one. So 2x minus 2 is 3.5. So I'm now going to write over here x naught, which was 2.75. Take away 0 0.0625 over 3.5. I'm going to do that calculation. So 2.75 minus brackets 0 0.0625 divided by 3.5. Close the brackets, press equals, and I'm just going to put that down here so I can see what I'm doing. And I've got 2.73214285 7. Now that now goes here. Ask your question. If you have a question, you can ask. Um, just to make sure. My, I don't think you needed to. I think if you didn't, you'd have got the very same answer. I'm just paranoid about putting things in brackets. I think if you just typed in 2.75 minus that, exactly as it's written, I think you'd find you got the same answer as me. All right? But I like to put things in brackets because I feel safe. So 2.73214. Now, can we just be clear about this? Um, that was 2.8 to one decimal place. This is 2.7 to one decimal place. Okay, I could keep going. All right, how many, how many terms have I done so far? Two. Two. I've completed the second one. I'm going to do it once more. Just once more. So now, I take all of that great long number there, and, and I just press forwards arrow, and put it in X. And it just puts it in, so I don't actually need to write it all down. So now, I can go X squared, uh, minus 2X, oops, and then minus 2, and this time, I get this funny number, 3.118, blah, 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 blah. Now, if you're getting something like that, try doing this. You get a really wobbly number like this number here. How about, let's put, let's put that into A. Because it's too difficult to write down. So I'm going to write it here, just at 3.18877 E negative 4. Now I'm going to play the same game again here. 2x minus 2. Oh, that's easy. I can manage that one. 3.46. But it's still a really long number, isn't it? So you remember I put that one into A. I'm going to put this one into B. I might as well use all these memories on my calculator. Arrow B. Okay. So what's this one going to be? X minus A over B. If you think about it, what am I doing? I'm going to do that number, take away that one divided by that one. So I can, having used the calculator really well, I can actually do this. It's really quite amazing. Watch. Do X, take away A divided by B. And here, this gives me 2.732. 05081. Now, if I write that here, 2.732.05081, this is why we use Newton Rapson. Because it, when we did bisection, we were happy when we got to one decimal place. Can you see that this one is now 2.732 for that one and 2.732 for that one? Which means I've actually got the answer to three decimal places. So the answer is going to be 2.732. And that's to three decimal places.
Now the question might ask you it for you for two decimal places. Okay? But the moment you get this big repeat here like this, stop. Because you found it. Now just to sum up, okay, I put the A and the B in the table because actually, although it's quite easy here, it gets really messy when you get down here. So I tend to just write a little summary of the number and put it into memory A and put it into memory B and just do that. So is it 3.18877? E to the negative zero four. So that's actually zero point zero 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 three one eight is what it actually is. Okay? But because because my calculator started giving me these complicated answers, that's when I put it into memory A. And if you look back on the video, that's what you'll see. I thought, oh I, I just can't write all that down. So I just use the arrow button and put it straight into A. Put this one straight into B and say, Well hang on a minute, as long as I do A divided by B, I'm doing the same thing. Okay? And that's how you do Newton Rhapsody.